okay so let's get a text box from over here let me draw my text box from over here so they're asking two uh, advantages of using a wired method uh, so the first thing you can talk about is the fact that wired methods are not affected by electromagnetic interference. Uh, wired cables, they are properly insulated, okay? They are well covered, okay? So they are not affected by other electromagnetic interference. You can say uh, wired connections are not affected by electromagnetic magnetic interferences okay uh, another reason let's come down another advantage of using a wired connection is you can say a wired connection uh, has a much higher bandwidth okay wired connections have a much higher bandwidth okay as they have more frequencies okay so as you know wired connections deal with a higher number of frequencies which means they can transfer more data every second whereas wireless connections have a lower frequency so they cannot transfer that many uh, pieces of data every second okay so this is the main reason why wired connections have a much higher bandwidth okay you can talk now we have already spoken about electromagnetic interference another reason another advantage that you can mention is wired connections are not affected by physical obstacles such as furniture doors glass you know partitions these physical obstacles will not be affecting your wired connection okay so these are some of the advantages that uh, you can mention also you can mention one more that just came to my mind is that wired connections are much more secure okay much more secure than wireless connections moving on to the next question it says give two advantage advantages to kiki of using a wireless method to connect to the smartphone so let's draw a text box from over here so they're asking you advantages of wireless. So the first advantage that we can talk about is the fact that wireless connections are portable. Now, when it is a wired connection, you need to stay in one place, okay? Wherever the cable is, that is where your device needs to be, isn't it? But when it's a wireless connection, you can move around within a certain range and stay connected to the network, isn't it? You can say wireless connections are portable, are portable where the user can move around within a certain range and remain connected to the network okay so i hope you do understand this point like i told previously when it's a wired connection you need to be present where the cable is your device needs to be only there you cannot move your device but when it's a wireless connection for example if it's in your room as long as you're inside your room you can move around you can be lying down you can be sitting you can be walking okay your phone will remain connected to the network another uh, benefit of wireless connections is you can talk about the fact that it is extremely easy to set up okay now when it comes to a wired connection you need to take a cable from the router all the way to your uh, place where you want to connect your device okay and taking a cable is not easy you know you need to uh, put casing you need to get it fixed onto the wall you know it needs to be done very neatly but when it comes to wireless wireless connection that hassle is not there okay you just switch on your router as long as the signals can reach your location or reach your room that's fine okay so you can say wireless connections are extremely easy to set up as there are no cables involved okay so they have asked me for two advantages another advantage that you can talk about is you can say wireless connections do not have a tripping hazard okay since there are no cables involved there is no tripping hazard involved okay moving on to the next question it says the smartphone uses a sim card which one of these is a type of connectivity that the sim card provides okay so i'm sure you all know what a sim card is okay if you want to take calls if you want to uh, send um, sms if you want to connect to mobile data that is three uh, 3g or 4g you need to have something called as a sim card okay subscriber identity module that's what it stands for you need to have that that sim card in your phone or smartphone okay so they're asking you which one of these is the type of connectivity that the sim card provides so it is going to be 4g okay so when you do have a when you do have a sim card in your phone you can connect to a 4g network okay so our answer is going to be 4g